Is SpaceX wasting massive amounts of money on their Starship program? SpaceX has continued to amaze us due to its breakthrough achievements. With such fast levels of production, the fastest in the industry in fact, and being the first company to successfully land its rockets on Earth, it's safe to say that its future is in secure hands under the helm of Elon Musk. According to SpaceX, the Starship was the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever made. Thus, it's safe to say that the program has the potential to revolutionize the space industry forever. That being said, is it feasible? How long can SpaceX continue to fund the Starship program? With FAA and such huge figures being involved, some believe that Musk needs to scrap the project and work on the rest of his empire. Is this true? Is SpaceX wasting massive amounts of money on their Starship program? Well, stick around until the end as we answer these questions. So without further ado, let's begin the video. The FAA ruling is still pending for SpaceX and its Starship program. It goes to demonstrate how much public interest is behind SpaceX being allowed to proceed with their Starship test flights, which have been delayed twice and are eagerly awaited not only by SpaceX, but also by the whole space-led community. But as I previously stated, this does not imply that SpaceX is sitting around doing nothing. Quite the reverse. Because many activities do not necessitate a test flight, SpaceX is concentrating on improving its infrastructure and completing the design of the first orbital test flight candidates. Aerial footage from television shows what SpaceX is currently doing at their starbase. The presence of Booster 4 and Ship 20 at the launch site demonstrates the rapid pace more than anything else. Booster 4 sits on a booster transport stand between the suborbital pants and wearing the Starship landing pad that used to be. Ship 20 is currently in between the old suborbital pads. At the very least, Ship 20 is capable of reaching orbit, an iterative design that is outdated before its flight. It'll remain an orbital rocket that'll never be flown. Without taking flight, Booster 4 is one of the largest rocket boosters ever built, and it sits next to the highly modified Booster 7. To say the least, unusual and certainly not frequent in the spaceflight industry. Rockets are often manufactured to be flown rather than trashed. Is SpaceX then a waste of money and time? It makes sense to do it in the Starbase manner, given SpaceX's approach to the Starship program and the extra time provided by the FAA. When compared to other prototypes, building a Starship prototype is not very expensive. It's cheap and quick to waste an entire Starship, including the booster, in favor of a more sophisticated test candidate. A Starship and a Super Heavy are unlikely to cost more than $20 million to build, even less so without engines. SpaceX now takes three to four months to produce one pair of Starship and Booster, and we're still in the prototype phase. Even when their products are in regular production and are not still in the prototype phase, any other rocket manufacturing firm in the world would welcome these times in pricing. Even though SpaceX would have liked to start delivering payloads with its Starships yesterday, not launching Booster 4 and Ship 20 isn't a waste of money. It makes sense to omit some prototypes now and again because SpaceX is so quick at cranking out new test candidates with vastly enhanced hardware. SpaceX will have to find a new way to launch rockets shortly. The fast expanding refinery is one of SpaceX's most valuable assets and it's only getting bigger. New foundations are being laid. Moreover, SpaceX employees have put a quick disconnect interface at Rocket 7 at the launch site. These preliminary tests on the Cam Crusher at the current Super Heavy prototype. In preparation for the impending orbital mission, a hydraulic test stand is putting Booster 7 through more critical testing, and the first test took place on April 12th. After connecting Booster 7 to the tank farm and the Cam Crusher, liquid nitrogen was pumped into the engine section's very bottom. To imitate flight circumstances more exactly, it'll most likely be cool to flight temperatures. From the start of the venting until the end, the test took almost exactly two hours. There was no evident difficulty, but no news from SpaceX. Booster 7 has passed another milestone and is becoming more prepared for orbital launch by the day. We'll keep our fingers crossed for the FAA's decision. Now let's take a peek at Crew 4 departure. When is it going to happen? What will the payload be and how far along is the commercial crew program in general? The commercial crew program is now underway. SpaceX has already launched four times toward the ISS, demonstrating its commitment to restoring the U.S. access to space. Well, full swing might be an exaggeration, as Boeing Space has yet to send a single Starliner to the International Space Station, but we'll get to that later. SpaceX is now launching Crew-4 toward the International Space Station. 
Following the successful launch of Crew-3, the stage is now prepared for a new expedition team to fly to the International Space Station ISS, and continue the work in low Earth orbit. NASA astronauts Jell Lindgren, Bob Hines, Jessica Watkins, and ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti will be the first to launch on the Crew Dragon spacecraft. The crew will spend many months at the International Space Station conducting science and maintenance before returning to Earth in the fall of 2022 on a long-duration mission. To prepare for human exploration beyond low Earth orbit, the crew of four astronauts will perform scientific studies in material science, health technology, and plant science. Many of NASA's current experiments on the International Space Station are focused on our ambitions for future exploration of the inner solar system. After all, the Moon and Mars are within our reach. So, are you guys enjoying the video? Here comes another challenge. In a project of such magnitude, there are bound to be problems. Is it even worthwhile using up our limited resources in developing something that has many hurdles in its production? Should we stop and focus our funds elsewhere, or continue with this revolutionary program? A lot of Starship's progress has to do with the progress of the Starliner, being produced by Boeing. The date is December 20, 2019. On OFT-1, the orbital test flight, we all watched Boeing Space launch their Starliner towards the International Space Station. That day, a lot of things went wrong. The capsule was unable to reach the ISS due to hardware and software issues and landed three days later on Earth. The issues, however, did not end there. Boeing announced a privately funded OFT-2 mission to the International Space Station after a thorough research. Uncrewed once more, the premiere is set for October or November 2020. There is no money from the taxpayers involved. Boeing is responsible for all of the funding. Before the August 2021 launch, window concerns within the spacecraft's propulsion system valves were discovered. The rocket was returned to the vertical integration facility after attempts to rectify the problem on the launch pad failed. Moisture found its way into the valves, corroding them. Boeing was still unable to determine the core cause of the problem as of late September 2021. As a result, they decided to postpone the flight indefinitely. Starliner OFT-2's overall cost is now anticipated to be around $595 million. The entire service module was replaced in December 2021. The current aim is to launch Starliner OFT-2 in May of this year. The odds for the second launch location are presently unknown. But as previously stated, the SpaceX Crew-4 astronauts will be waiting for it once more. Starliner will be late regardless of the decision. At this point, a few people at Boeing are likely to be agitated. Let's hope they succeed this time, so that as a direct result, Starship gets the green light to launch. Boeing's Starliner issues tells how superior Musk's Starship is, proving that they should be at the forefront in space travel. One should grab any opportunities, any chance of developing something revolutionary and making the world a better place due to their inventions. The brilliance of Elon Musk will surely bear fruit, and he will once again wow the world with his unique and astounding Starship project. We shall soon see Starship rockets landing on Mars and making Musk's dreams a reality. So are you excited to see how the Starship program turns out? Will it be a success or just a waste of money? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to watch more of our amazing videos, then stay tuned.